Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada with an Avada short. In this video, I will take a look at converting from sidebars and widgets to columns and elements in Avada. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. Sidebars have been very common on websites for many years, and while their popularity may be declining, there are still many instances where they are very useful. It's just that now there is a much easier way to create them than using the global and page sidebar options. Widgets, on the other hand, are considered to be a legacy tool, and there are also much easier ways to create the same content. And while sidebars and widgets don't always go together, with the legacy methods they are intertwined. Let's look at how to upgrade from legacy sidebars and widgets on your Avada website. I've imported the Avada architecture pre-built here, which is one of the oldest Avada pre-builds. Originally, this had a sidebar configured with the legacy methods, though it was then updated with newer methods as they emerged. But here I've reverted to the legacy sidebar to demonstrate. So to do that, it first involved reactivating legacy widgets areas from the global options, advanced, features area. Then I had to make sure that this blog page was using the page width template, as sidebars don't work on pages using the 100% width template. Then in the page options, under sidebars, I could then select the sidebar I wanted to display on the page. For the content of that sidebar, I then had to go to Appearance, Widgets, and populate the chosen widget area with my desired content using the available widgets. It took some time, but in the end I got a page like this. It's okay, but it was a convoluted process, and there is a much better and simpler way. So these days, sidebars in Avada are just columns. Let's now look at the actual blog page. So here there is a 70% column and a 30% column, and in the right hand column there are various elements. It's all done in the builder, and there are elements that allow you to add the same content as on the widget page. And to that, let's add the fact that you could add any of the Avada design elements in here. I might also make this column sticky with a 120 pixel offset at the top, so when I scroll it stays at the top of the page, but under the sticky header. So much easier, and so much quicker to make. There are many places you can use columns as a sidebar like this, including on the actual blog posts, where you might use similar content, or perhaps a table of contents, and also just on any page. So if you're thinking about using legacy sidebars and widgets, just don't. With new sites, these legacy features are not even enabled. Try it out, you'll never go back. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.